Hello everyone, my name's Angela and welcome to my channel. Um, I do lots of vlogs on all different stuff really, everyday life. But uh, my real passion is travel um, and I'm going to bring some of those vlogs into my channel soon. Um, but first off, I am just on my way to the brilliant Panland. Um, so I'm just going to go and see what I can find. And also, um, just a little update on, I'm trying to follow Slimming World trying to and failing so miserably um so i'm looking at all the vloggers on youtube that post what they eat in a day and it's very inspirational so um yes i must do that soon so i do like slimming world and i love travel and um have a big family and i have three children and I don't know what else to say really other than I like halls and shopping too. Um, I work for a charity organisation and so I'm very much into making as much money for them as possible but I also do support other charities, all of them are very good causes obviously. Um, on a mission each week to either donate one item of clothing, shoes, homeware, books and today I've just bundled up a bag of jewellery. Um, I do find it hard because I feel that I'm a little bit of a hoarder and keep thinking, oh, I might need that one day, I might need that. But to be honest, you don't. If you haven't used it within a year or two, you're not going to use it. So um, today I've managed to quickly bag up a bag of jewellery. So when I pass um, a charity shop, um, that means something along the lines to me personally. I, I normally donate it. So anyway, I'm off to do a Panland haul. Um, I'm also off to Sainsbury's as I've got a few items to change. And um, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Okay, this is the bundle of jewellery I've managed to bag up today. I probably could have done a lot more. Um, but to be honest, I did it quick. And I thought, well, at least I'm donating a bag. I'll try and get round to doing another bag, perhaps next week. Right, everyone, I'm back now from my shopping in Panland. Um, had to go to Sainsbury's to change a couple of bits and ended up buying two more bits, but they were in the sale. Um, yeah, so I made it to Panland, went to the charity shop first and delivered some jewellery that I said I was going to donate. Right, I'm going to get on with the boring stuff from Panland, which probably is like the everyday stuff. And I picked up some shower gels. Um, everything I bought today in Panland was a pound, which may sound really strange, but they do do two pound and five pound ranges now. So you have to really look and make sure. But everything I bought, I checked on the receipt and they were all a pound. So I got some shower gel because we go through quite a bit. In this house, having a couple of men live here. Uh, that is a man's one, so um, that was quite a big one actually. Um, I've got a red one for them because, I don't know if I said it in my last vlog, we've got a converted garage and in the converted garage we've made like a games room sort of hub basically. It has a bathroom off of it, so if anyone stays, because we've got a bed settee in there, there's a shower. And because I've got a certain colour theme, which I will show you, I can't say it too loud because we're doing a big reveal with our kids and family, the ones that don't live here. Um, and we're having a games night and a fun night to what we're calling it Bar 51. So there is a reason behind that, but I don't want to say because it's quite personal, but it's Bar 51. And uh, we're doing an open night. Anyway, I'm really diversing. This shower gel... I bought this because it's the colour theme to the bathroom that comes off of the games room for anyone that's staying. And I bought myself a Nivea one, a cashmere. Uh, not tried that one yet, so um, I thought I'd get that. So they were all a pound each, so um, that's part of the boring ones out of the way. Oh, I bought a deodorant. And actually, I thought that was quite cheap for a pound because in a lot of the other shops, I thought they were about one ninety nine. Um, like in Tesco's or Morrison's or something, I might have got that wrong, but um, that was the Dove uh, stick, which I quite like. They were that was a pound two. Right, I bought these mugs, um, one of each colour. They look quite classy actually for the pound shop, um, and it says on it, 
you can see. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And that was that colour. Last year I did a, um, you know when you put your sachets of hot chocolate in and marshmallows. I did that last year and wrapped them up for a couple of gifts. Not sure whether I'm going to keep these or whether do a similar thing this year. Um, I quite like them for my kitchen over Christmas so might keep those ones. Not bad for a pound. And they look quite nice as well. Anyway, right. Um, I got this. This is <laughs> probably another boring item. But, because um, it's not normal Christmas stuff, um, it's a sticky toilet roll holder that sticks on the wall. Um, I have got one pretty similar in another room, but that bathroom that I was talking about with that red shower gel, we haven't got a toilet roll holder in there and it's all tiled. And at the moment, um, not sure whether we can get fixings in there to um, drill one on. So I thought for now, we can have that one to stick on and um keep the toilet roll off the floor actually we do keep it on the back of the toilet but i'm always worried about falling down the toilet so that can go on there and uh, we'll stick that on the wall right something else i found in Pandland. um if you've seen any of my previous hauls, it's a bit of a long running standing joke um i tried to drop it no one's gonna let me but i did see these so this one's my fault um pink flamingos I had a bit of an obsession of pink flamingos and I found these and it was Merry Christmas with pink flamingos and even though I might not use that Christmas day because the last count I think we've got between 12 or 16 people coming for Christmas um, so I might not use these Christmas day but these can be used throughout Christmas and I thought that was quite funny so, um, yeah, so that's my pink flamingo. And there's 20, 20 paper napkins in each pack. I did buy three packs. Because you just one at a time. Don't keep. So that's pretty Christmassy. Right, um, I bought these because I love the colour. Stupid excuse. I love these zebra pens. Um, or zebra pens. Or the make. They really write nice, and I have bought a few of these in the past, and I thought that was really good for a pound. Um, they've, got, they've got black ink in them, and they're really lovely colours. And we've got sort of um, charcoal grey theme uh, with that sort of rose goldy colour, um, and only accessories in that in in our computer room because it's going to be a travel room, but. Oh, I really like that. That's to go on my side of the computer desk. So I thought that was pretty girly and I really like them. And that was another set as well. Uh, ballpoint pen. That's black ink as well. So I'm going to put them on my desk. Right, this was really pretty. I really like this. This was Sparkle. Sparkle all the way. Right, and then it's got all these lovely bits well, I'm not sure what they are, sequins or... And I thought that was really pretty. So, I might even put that up in here because I thought that was really nice. Yeah, really pretty. And for a pound, I thought that was well worth it. Right, I'll tell you what I did buy for Christmas. I bought How Many Sleeps Till Christmas? And it's like the countdown, so you've got the... On the back, you've got like the wheels that turn the numbers. So um, obviously, I'll probably put this up on the 1st of December because that's when we normally put all our bits up, sort of the first, or the first weekend in December, closest to December. And yeah, I just thought that'd be really nice to count down till Christmas. Never had one of them before and I thought that was really nice. Yeah, so we're gonna put that up in beginning of December. Something that I bought that was really handy and it's two little baskets because we're always looking for little baskets to put bits in. And I just thought, I'm sure I needed them somewhere when I was clearing something out, but I couldn't remember where it was. So I thought, if I buy them now, as I'm going through doing my housework, I know the light bulb will go ding, and I'll remember exactly where I wanted it. So, yeah. So I got those two, and it was a set of two for a pound. These I really like. These are, you put them on your wine glasses. The rings on the bottom and people sort of know what is them by their thing by their let me show you can you see those 
and they're called charms that was it wine charms and i thought they were really cute so i got a couple of packs of those so i think it's quite nice even if the women have them on their wine glass i don't know the men men drink beer or whatever but i just thought that was they were really sweet uh, um, for Christmassy and I mean for a pound and you get five in there so that's like 20p each when we used to live in Australia we used to always have these and have all little like pineapples and stuff like that and yeah it was really nice so a barbecue everyone knew exactly where their glass was or what their glass was anyway I bought these these were some boxes to wrap gifts up in um I don't know what I'm going to use them for yet, but obviously they're for wrapping gifts. So until I start my Christmas shopping and my wrapping, I won't know. But I thought they will really come in handy. That was um, sort of it's smaller than a shoebox, but that'd be really handy to put some sort of gift in. And that's the Nutcracker theme, I think, which is quite big in there at the minute. There's a film coming out soon, I think, the Nutcracker. So I presume that's why they've bought this theme out as well. Yeah, so that I thought that looked a little bit vintagey as well. Anyway, this year, as well as buying, I'll probably buy some nice wrapping paper, but I was with my friend and we was both talking about how we liked the brown paper look with all red ribbons and stuff like that on. I didn't know this, but she told me that um, normal wrapping paper is not biodegradable. Is that the right word? Um, so really the brown paper is the only one that is but then if we put ribbon on it you're defeating the object a little bit so i might look into that a little bit so i quite like that box because that's sort of the brown paper box theme so i might end up doing that I might end up doing the uh, brown paper this year and this one was a tin and that's pretty similar size to the box but that's a really nice handy tin I might even use that in my own kitchen to put things in whether you've got sausage rolls or cakes or whatever but I just thought that was a really nice tin or I might put a present in there unsure about that one yet and the last item I bought um, this will go down well with some of the people in my my relatives in my house we have a relative that works for uh, a brewery so this will go down pretty well um it's a beer tasting kit now the company he works for i won't name because i might get told off for naming them but the company he works for are constantly bringing out new beers to taste and a couple of times he's brought a few tasters home just for us to all try it and get give out our opinion on it um yeah and there's some really unusual flavors especially in the summer they brought out some really unusual flavors but um this would be quite a good game actually to set up because we could sort of blindfold people and see what flavors they could taste in the beer with not knowing what's going in the glass um yeah so i thought that'd be quite good to give to our relative for christmas so that he could get people doing wine taste uh, beer tasting not wine tasting beer tasting yeah so that was about it for my pan land haul um i hope you enjoyed it um subscribe if you do and um, there's gonna be plenty of others and um i'll see you soon